today we're going to talk a little bit more about variable scope. So what is scope? Scope is the part of the program where you can access that particular variable. That might seem a little bit complicated, but remember we talked about this in our last video lecture on parameters and arguments, that variables are only available in that little island where they are declared and they can't really move anywhere else. So global variables are defined outside functions and therefore you can access them anywhere after it is declared. So you can access it throughout the entire program, it's visible to all functions, and the same thing is true for global constants. Local variables, however, are declared in a function. Therefore, they are available only from where they are first declared in that function to the end of the function block, but they are not available anywhere else. This includes parameters, because parameters really are local variables to the function. So let's take a look at some examples. Here we have a global constant, and we've got a return function, that's a helper function, and we've got a main void function. So where is num available? Who can access num? Well, pretty much anywhere from line 1 all the way to line 13. Anywhere in this program, you can access num. It does not need to be passed in as a parameter or used as an argument. It can just be used. So the scope of num is lines 1 through 13. Now let's take a look at x and y. They are parameters, so they are local variables to this function, and therefore they can only be accessed in this function only. The scope of x and y is lines 3, that's where it's first declared, through 6, and that's it. I cannot try to use this x down here. They're different. z is also a local variable for this function. Its scope is lines 4 through 6. I can't use it above, only from where it's declared on. Now, here's another function, and x is a local variable to this function, and this particular x has a scope of 9 through 11, lines 9 through 11, and y, 10 through 11. And then I've used them as arguments, so I've passed their values into here, but these x and y's are different from these x and y's. They have different scope. Okay, example two, I've got a return function here that has no parameters. It has, does have a local variable volume. The scope of volume is lines 2 and 3. And that's it. Here we have a main function with side. Its scope is 6 to 8. And volume lines 7 to 8. Okay. Here we have volume and it needs to access side. Can it access this side? This scope is only line 6 through 8 and volume is up here in line 2. So we've got a little problem here. Hopefully you saw a problem. The function cube volume needs to access side, but it is not visible to the function. So side should be passed as an argument here and to the parameter here so that volume can use side. For example 3, we've got another global constant, high val. We've got only one function here, main. So what is the scope of high val? It's the entire program, so lines 1 to 10. Here we've got a local variable sum. What's its scope? From where it's declared to the end of the function. So lines 4 to 8. x is also a local variable for this particular function. It's also a local variable for this loop, but it is accessible from this point forward. So the scope of x is lines 5 through 8. Square starts at line 6. So its scope is 6 through 8. So what should you remember about scope? You should remember to avoid global variables whenever you can. Because when multiple functions update global variables, the result can be difficult to predict. Global variables are difficult to maintain, and you don't always understand the effect of a, of a function call during with a global variable because it, anything can change at any time. So you don't really know what's happening and sometimes strange things go on and you think you know the value of a global variable, but you don't really. So you want to avoid them, only use them when you absolutely have to. Global constants, however, are fine. You should use them. Declare global, global constants at the top of your program. So I hope you understand global variables and scope a little bit better.